Chapter 1. In the first chapter of, Map of Bones, by James Rollins, we are introduced to a group of nuns who are being pursued by a group of men. The nuns are in possession of a mysterious artifact known as the Bones of the Magi, which is said to possess great power. As they flee through the streets of Rome, one of the nuns, Sister Isabella, is separated from the others and ends up in a cemetery where she is attacked by a group of men who are also after the bones. Just as they are about to capture her, a man named Gray Pierce arrives and rescues her. Gray is a member of a top-secret government agency known as Sigma Force, and he has been sent to Rome to investigate the theft of a radioactive isotope. He soon discovers that the theft is connected to the bones of the Magi and that there are many powerful forces who will stop at nothing to get their hands on the artifact. Chapter 2 In Chapter 2 of, Map of Bones, Gray and Isabella escape from the cemetery and head to the Vatican, where they hope to find safety and help from the Catholic Church. However, they soon discover that the Church is also involved in the hunt for the bones of the Magi, and that the artifact is connected to a prophecy that has been kept secret for centuries. The prophecy states that whoever possesses the bones will have the power to control the forces of nature and bring about the end of the world. Gray and Isabella are joined by a priest named Father Giovanni, who helps them decipher the clues that will lead them to the location of the bones. They soon realize that the bones are hidden in the tomb of Genghis Khan, and that they will have to travel to Mongolia to find them. However, they are not the only ones who are searching for the bones, and they must fight to stay alive as they race against time to uncover the truth about the artifact and prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. Chapter 3 In Chapter 3 of, Map of Bones, Gray and his team arrive in Mongolia to search for the bones of the Magi. They encounter a group of nomads who are also searching for the artifact, but who are hostile towards outsiders. Despite the dangers, Gray and his team continue their search, using a map that they obtained in Rome to guide them. They discover that the map is actually a riddle, and that they must solve it in order to find the location of the bones. Meanwhile, a sinister organization known as the Guild is also on their trail, and they will stop at nothing to get their hands on the artifact. Chapter 4 In Chapter 4 of, Map of Bones, Gray and his team continue their search for the bones of the Magi. They encounter a mysterious woman named Safia Almaz, who claims to be a descendant of Genghis Khan and who is also searching for the artifact. Safia offers to help Gray and his team, but they are unsure if they can trust her. As they continue their journey, they face many dangers, including a treacherous mountain pass and an attack by the guild. They eventually arrive at the tomb of Genghis Khan, where they discover that the bones are not what they seem. The bones are actually a map that leads to an even more powerful artifact, known as the Emerald Tablet. Gray and his team realize that they must find the tablet before the guild does, or else the world will be plunged into chaos. Chapter 5. In Chapter 5 of, Map of Bones, Gray and his team must decipher the clues on the bones in order to find the Emerald Tablet. They discover that the tablet contains powerful knowledge about the universe and that whoever possesses it will have immense power. They must race against time to find the tablet before the guild does, as they realize that the organization plans to use it to create a new world order. Meanwhile, they encounter more danger as they navigate through underground tunnels and evade traps set by the guild. Chapter 6. In Chapter 6 of, Map of Bones, Gray and his team discover the location of the Emerald Tablet and embark on a dangerous mission to retrieve it. They encounter the guild again, who are hot on their heels. They must navigate through a maze of tunnels and fight off dangerous creatures in order to reach the tablet. Along the way, they uncover a shocking secret about the guild and their true intentions for the Emerald Tablet. Gray and his team must decide whether to destroy the tablet or use its power to stop the guild and save the world from destruction. Chapter 7. In the final chapter of, Map of Bones, Gray and his team confront the guild and engage in a deadly battle for control of the Emerald Tablet. They discover that the tablet has the power to control the elements and that it can be used for both good and evil. Gray must make a difficult decision that will determine the fate of the world. In the end, they succeed in their mission and the world is saved from destruction. However, the power of the Emerald Tablet remains a mystery, and Gray wonders what other secrets lie hidden in the world. Chapter 8 In Chapter 8 of, Map of Bones, Gray and his team are on the hunt for the lost city of Shambhala, which is believed to hold the key to the location of the next artifact. They travel to the Himalayas and enlist the help of a group of Sherpas to guide them through the treacherous terrain. Along the way, they encounter a group of Russian soldiers who are also searching for the city. 
Gray and his team must navigate through dangerous blizzards and avalanches while avoiding the Russian soldiers who are hot on their trail. Eventually, they discover the lost city and find a clue that leads them to the next artifact. Chapter 9 In Chapter 9 of Map of Bones, Gray and his team travel to Greece to search for the next artifact. They discover that the artifact is hidden in a labyrinth on the island of Crete, and they must navigate through the maze to find it. However, they are not alone in their quest, as the guild is also on their trail. Gray and his team must use their wits and knowledge of Greek mythology to solve the riddles and traps in the labyrinth. Along the way, they encounter dangerous creatures and must fight for their survival. They eventually find the artifact, but not before a shocking betrayal by one of their own. Chapter 10 In Chapter 10 of Map of Bones, Gray and his team travel to the Vatican to confront the guild and stop their plans for world domination. They discover that the guild plans to use the artifacts to bring about the end of the world and create a new world order. Gray and his team must race against time to stop the guild before it's too late. They engage in a deadly battle with the guild's agents and must use all their skills and knowledge to emerge victorious. In the end, they are able to stop the guild's plans and save the world from destruction. However, they know that there are still mysteries and secrets yet to be uncovered, and that the fight for the fate of the world is far from over. Epilogue. In the epilogue of Map of Bones, Gray and his team return to their respective homes, reflecting on the events that transpired during their mission. They realize that the power of the Emerald Tablet was too great for any one person to possess and that it was ultimately better to destroy it. However, they wonder what other ancient artifacts and secrets may lie hidden in the world, waiting to be discovered. Meanwhile, the guild is still at large, and Gray and his team know that they must remain vigilant to prevent them from causing any more harm. The novel ends with Gray contemplating the mysteries of the universe and the unknown possibilities that lie ahead.